which is idolatry. And which things, for which things, the wrath of God cometh on the children of the disobedience. In the which ye also walk sometimes when ye live in them. But now ye also put off all these anger, wrath, malice, wrath, civil communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another. Say that again. Lie not one to another. Say that again. Lie not one to another. Go ahead. Seeing that he had put off the old man with his deep, and had put on the new man which is renewed in knowledge at the image of him that created him. Amen. Mm-hmm. 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 Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> For there is neither Greek nor Jew, circumcision nor uncircumcision, barbarian, Scythian, bond or free, but Christ is in all and in all. Christ is all and in all. Christ is all and in all. For the Lord, the Lord has been left God, holy and beloved, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long suffering, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do you. Next, and above all these things, put on charity. Which is the bond of perfect. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, for the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly, in all wisdom, teaching, and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. And whatsoever ye do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God and the Father by Him. This is very important for me. Wives, submit yourself unto your own husband as it is fit in the Lord. Husbands, Love your wives and be not bitter against them. Mm -hmm. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing unto the Lord. Fathers, provoke not your children to anger, lest they be discouraged. Servants, obey in all things your masters according to the flesh, not with eye service, as many pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. And whatsoever ye do, do it heartily, as to the Lord, and not unto men. Amen. Knowing that of the Lord ye shall receive the reward of the inheritance. For ye serve the Lord Christ, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he has done. And there is no respecter of person. Can I get an amen? Amen. amen. You may be seated. Now, me and the Lord were working on this sermon for about a month and a half. But just recently, he gave me my example. So I'm going to put down here and listen carefully because I'm not going to repeat this. Okay? Listen and pick out only what applies to you. Don't look at your neighbor because you don't know fully what applies to that neighbor. Just what applies to you. Pull that out of God's word. What applies to you. Here we go. There were times in life when we wondered why things happened. Can you get an amen? Amen. We go to school, we get a job, we have a family, we wonder why things happen. Well, in Ephesians, well, if the Ephesians can be labeled the epistle portraying the church of Christ, then Colossians must surely be the Christ of the church. 
Ephesians focuses on the body. Colossians focuses on the head. Can we get an amen? Like Ephesians, the little book of Colossians divides neatly in half with the first portion, doctrinal. Okay? Paul's purpose is to show that Christ is preeminent. First and foremost in everything we do. And the Christian's life should reflect that priority. Can we get an amen? Amen. Because believers are rooted in him, alive in him, hidden in him, and complete in him, it is utterly inconsistent for them to live life without him. Amen. Amen? Amen. We are clothed in his love with his peace ruling in our hearts, and, and they are equipped to make Christ first in every area of life. Amen. Now, when the Holy Spirit gave me this message, to me, I first thought about letters that I had received all through the years. Some were encouraging and some not so encouraging. And the reason I did bring about the uh, letters is because, you know, an epistle is a letter. Okay? Y'all, y'all know that, right? Yeah. And for those who didn't know it like I did, you know, it's a letter. Amen. Nevertheless, I received in these letters, some were good and some were not so good. I received it in love. It was given in love. And I love prevailed these letters. When I read John 3.16 to me, this is just to Linda. It is a love letter from God to Linda. Okay? And the reason I say it like that is because it's personal. Uh, If you receive John 3.16 as personal, it's a love letter between God and someone. It's a love letter between Shirley May and God. It's a love letter. It's a love letter to each one of us, eh? It's a love letter. Amen? Amen. Thank you. When I talk to God, I believe having him to love is reason enough to shout. It's reason enough to praise him. It's reason enough to worship him all the more. We heard testimony this morning about how people were raised from the sick beds. And you know, that's a personal thing with people. That's a personal thing. How you found a job and you didn't know how you got that job. That's a personal thing. Amen? There are personal things that you know is between you and God. Can we get an amen? No matter where we go or what we do, He is the one who makes all things wonderful. I don't care who you are. That is why we have hope for tomorrow. Gratefulness for yesterday. And thankfulness for today. Can we get an amen? Do you ever receive special things from God that no one else can give you? Think about it. Just a minute. I do. A cool breeze. I can't see it, but I can feel it on my face. Music in the morning. First thing in the morning when the birds are chirping. I mean, there's no music like that. Where we have to get on that piano. But the music that a bird is. You know, and it only can come from God. Amen. 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 Music from the birds chirping. And then, this is the one I really like. He gives me a bouquet. When the leaves turn colors in the fall, Amen. and they are so beautiful, you can't even put them in the words. Can I get an amen? Looking into a small child's face, it just turns us up. It turns us up. I, I, I called my sister last night and she said, I'm in the middle of something. I got a five-year-old, and, and we were looking at a video, and I'm telling my God the phone, I had to sniggle. You know, because I know how it is when a five-year-old are, and you look at something, they want to explain the entire thing to you. Can we get an amen? 
All right, now, stay with me. Those that have worked in the garden, now I know all of us have worked in the garden of some sort. Amen? Amen. We planted some. God gave the increase. We got a harvest. And Lord, how much it is astonishing to see what the harvest was that you thought you made, but God gave the increase. And then, even if it's a small plant, a flower in the window, like an aloe, you can't hardly kill an aloe, amen? Amen? And then as I went on studying, he showed me that there was a wasp, a wasp in my window. Now let me show you how God does things. There was a wasp, and it seemed irritable. And I'm sure it was suspicious because I picked up the fly fly. <laughs> and I knew the walls could see me. Okay? It was like he crunched down like a miniature fire fighter jet. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> he, he crunched down like, I'm going to get you. <laughs> and, and then it was like his wings were cocked. Like, I'm going to sting you before you hit me with that flash water. Amen? He was ready to defend his territory. Amen? At the slightest provocation, that bee would have launched from that runway, swooped to the attack from unexpected angles and targets, and hit me in my weak spot. Amen? Amen. Now, are y'all listening to this thing about the wall? Okay. Yeah. It's amazing how quickly they can deliver the rude reminder, you are not welcome here. <laughs> how often have we been suspicious as Christians that someone is threatening our reputation? When we are wrongly blamed for a mistake, do we rise to the attack? What is our response to someone who corrects us? I'm going to say that again. What is our response if someone corrects us? Do we find it easier to cock our wings in self-defense and say, I know how to do that? Then we, then we exercise, or do we exercise Christian meeting? No. We are on the attack. We are on the attack. Amen? Many times, do you believe someone else has mistreated you when you believe that? And before we realize it, we begin considering a strategy to humiliate the person. I'm going to get you. You did it to me. Now I'm going to do it to you before you do it to me again. Can I get an amen? You might as well say amen and shame the devil. Amen? For whatever you choose when you shame the devil. Amen? But wait, did the person actually do anything wrong to you? Think about it. Did they actually do anything wrong to you? Amen? Does his grip bumping on your paper net? in my opinion, uh, or your self-esteem, justify your desire to take him down to size. Do we find satisfaction in targeting our brothers and sisters' weak areas in retaliation for whatever you think they did to you? Well, come on. Well, Y'all been talking back to me. I put 20 minutes on this. <laughs> Walls have a surely reputation but they are following instinct. Uh -huh. Animals, insects, they follow instinct. How much worse when an intelligent person chooses to sting those around them? Christ calls us to a higher motive of love. Amen. And above all things, put on charity, which is the bond of perfection. Be kindly affectionate one to another. Brotherly love is honoring one another. Finally, when we choose to love and forgive, mm. Mm. this sweetens our relationship yes, with God. Yes. 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 
Because that is what he looks at. He looks at your heart. He looks at your intentions. He don't look he don't listen to that. He don't listen to that. Unless you pray the word to him. Unless you feed back his word to him. Let's leave the leave the to the walls. Forbearance often involves loving our brothers and sisters enough to be wrong yourself. Understand that. You don't always have to be right. Amen? Amen. Amen. But forbearance often involves loving our brothers and sisters enough to be wrong ourselves. Can I get an amen? Amen. Guess what? The doors of the church are open. If there is one in here today who does not want to be categorized by instinct and the walls, come forward. If you're looking for a church home or rededication of your life, just to make sure you make it in, come forward. If you have had a rough rough week and don't know what to look forward to in the coming, come forward. I promise you Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Have no fear because God is the one that you need. You don't need the preacher's hand, the deacon's hand, or anybody else's hand. Just grab hold of Jesus' hand and develop that personal relationship just with you and him. I challenge you to do that. And if you think I'm not serious, I had to do that for myself. And my whole life changed. Let me tell you, I was the one who sat in the back seat and criticized everybody that came through the door. Look at her. She thinks she's cheap. Uh, look at her. Her stockings all twisted. <laughs> this, is the, this is who I'm telling you. This is who I was. Now, who I am now, I would probably go out and buy her a new car stock and in love give it to her. Amen? Yeah. The doors of the church are open. Come here. If you just need prayer or intercessory prayer, please come forward. Lord Jesus.